Friends, this is a totally unedited phago surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision at the posterior aspect of the limbus. We can see that this is a cataract with grade 2 plus or grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber and it is spread over the corneal epithelium. It improves visibility. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. So we have one main incision and two side ports. This is capsulorexis. The capsule is incised with a 26 case band needle and then a uterda forceps is taken. I hold this capsular tag and go anticlockwise all around, remain at a certain equal distance from the margin of the dilated people and thus I manage to get a round herexis. This is not a femtorexis, but it is fairly acceptable round rexis. And now, hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed just under the anterior capsular rim. Here it is. And we can see that the fluid wave went to the other side. Hydro delineation is also done. In this case, we can see a faint golden ring. And now, Visco is again injected. Now is the time to introduce the handpiece. This is a totally unedited surgery. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. Here it is. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped. And here I fold it at the middle and cut it into two halves almost. And this portion this own hemineucleus is emulsified and removed in no time. Now this is the other hemineucleus. It is also divided into two parts. Now each part is emulsified and taken out. FECO power used in this case is 60%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is epineucleus. It has come out. So this has been a quick surgery. The main aim is not how fast we can be. The main aim is to be safe. So we must be safe first and then quick. Now, cortical cleanup is to be done. I am using a 23 gauze Simco cannula for cortical cleanup. You can use whatever you like. Bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration can be used. I find this instrument very quick, very fast in my hands. And I use a glass syringe for smooth cleaning of the cortex. And now in this case, some cells are sticking to the posterior capsule. I am using the Simco for polishing as much as possible, but still there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule. So what to do? I am using the irrigating probe of bimanual IA for hydro polishing. Means the cells are being dislodged by the irrigating jet of BSS and it ca comes out through the main incision. And now, the lens is being implanted under irrigation. The antechamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid and this is a foldable hydrophilic intraocular lens being placed in the capsular bag. This hydro implantation is a very good technique because you are not using viscoelastic substance and the risk of rise of intraocular pressure in the post-op period because of viscoelastic substance will be no more. And now the side ports are being hydrated so that these step wounds become watertight. And now we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. Now you form the entry chamber nicely and conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. We are very good surgeon and do very good service to the mankind.